all right guys let's go let's go get it we're working round number five or session number five and of course this is your warm-up where we're working all punches we're going to work accuracy and distance for your warm-up you know, you've been in this session for a while now. You've been working these 30 minute heavy bag workouts. If it's your first time, welcome. It's all good. You can go back and check out rounds one to four. But in this one, at this point right now, I want you to work all punches and just think accuracy, right? And flow. So make sure you're working some accuracy. It's controlled. You're getting your arms to relax a little bit, keeping that chin down. You're about to have some fun for session number five. That's what you're about to do. But again, Think about this session as kind of being more of a boss. You know, you put the time into this point so you feel comfortable with your workouts and it's just about picking off the chin, those body shots, you know, they're gonna be accurate through the body. You're gonna move a little bit. You're not gonna waste footsteps. You're gonna be controlled on your feet. And of course, have some fun throughout this session. Now again, think nice straight lines. We're gonna throw in those straight punches. Make sure you're accurate on those body shots and just you know ripping some combos. And of course, just you know basic control footwork. You're having some fun, right? Right now, you're the boss. You're the champ. We're having fun with this. You guys are experienced now with these three-minute sessions. So what I want you to think about throughout this workout is showing me that experience, showing me that skill, even if you don't necessarily have it, you know. Just go on like you do so you can have some more fun, right? Train like a boss, that's all you gotta do. Train like a champ. Again, while you're warming up, you wanna think about, okay, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about my breathing. I just wanna think about how my feet are feeling. You know, my hands heavy today. Today on this workout, my hands were a little bit heavy, so I had to loosen up a little bit. How to get my breathing a little more controlled than usual. So I just kept those things in mind, took those into consideration, and you know, try to loosen up on the warm-up. And again, sometimes when you feel like you know the speed isn't there or the power isn't there, it's a great opportunity to work on timing. It's a great opportunity to work on accuracy, right? Movements, hands are up in position, work in control. Right? Protect yourself at all times. No matter if you get into the ring or you get into that, that heavy bag, you know, and you feel a little bit lethargic, well then figure out a way to get out of that zone and work on something else until your energy starts to pick up a little bit. It really is that simple, right? You just have to know that it's okay to switch gears and work on something else. All right, guys, round number one is done. That's your warm up. Round number two, you're going to work straight punches and then cover and duck out and away after each combo. All right. So just straight punches. You'll see me throw a hook here and there, but realistically, stick with the straight punches. Cover, so block, and then uh, cover or block realistically, and then duck out after each combo. So you're going in offense and then move out with a defensive movement and then get right back to work. All right, let's go. All right, so again, straight punches, guys. So you can work as many combos as you want. See there, I threw a hook. I should have been throwing some straight punches, but a hook here and there is not the end of the world, right? Again, work those different levels on your straight punches, short angle changes. You can duck cover and duck and get out. Double up the right hand, triple up the jab. Double up the jab. Double up the right hand, triple up the jab. Work body, work head. Keep your breathing strong, work those straight punches. Change your levels, change your angles, and then duck to get out, right? Starting to get a little bit of warmth going through your system. Your blood's starting to pump a little bit. Heart rate's slightly elevated. So use that, pick up your tempo a little bit and work those straight punches.
Again, different levels, head movement, always, right? Chin down, stay on your legs. Show me different looks, punches and bunches, covers, blocks, duck out, duck right, get out, duck left to get out, small pivots. Once you feel the momentum, you're starting to fly in there a little bit, you're starting to feel good, and that's when you start to pick up your tempo, your pace a little bit, you know? Some days that happens really fast, other days not so much. But make today a day where you're feeling good. At this point, you're starting to feel good. You're stepping when you throw those straight punches. You can step left, step right, show them one way, move the other, right? The heavy bag's an opponent, so don't always give them the same looks. There's still a thousand different varieties of straight punches or combinations you can throw, so try to mix up those, you know? Give them a different look. You're the boss, you're the champ, right? You're comfortable now, you're good. All right, guys, good work. Round number three coming up, and here you're gonna work early knockouts. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna finish with an eight, two, or three. So an overhand right, you can throw a four in there if you want. A cross, a left hook, every time you throw a combination, I want you to think early knockout. You're finishing the fight, all right? So this is where we start to pick up your pace and your tempo a little bit. It can be a fast combo to that point. It can be speed, it can be a little power, it can be medium, whatever. But right here, you're going for the early knockouts. You come out of the corner right now and you get ready to go to work. Let's go. When you finish that combo, it's a two, a three, an eight. It's an early knockout, it's all business. Again, that eight is an overhand right. And there are a few ways to throw that overhand right. Right, that was a five, I'm sorry, that was an eight, three, eight. Different looks, different feel. Again, move around the bag a little bit. This is all bad intentions, guys. This one's bad intentions. You do not play on this round going the full distance. Early knockout. Three, eight. Let them rip. You can throw a right hook if you want. See that combo I love when you step in with that three and finish with the eight, then step back out with a check hook. That's a serious combo. Bad intentions. You can see my movements a little bit less on this one because I just want to go for it. I'm just letting my hands go. We're in the middle of the ring or he's up against the ropes. I'm not. Okay, see, same. Balance, control. Let your hands go. Have some fun with it. And then once you feel like change position, you change position. That's what you do. Show them that your feet are bouncy. You still got lots of energy left. That's intimidating when you know you throw lots of punches, but then you come out of that and you start to move on your feet a little bit. When you show you're not gassed, that's intimidating. Two, three, eight. Early knockout. Finish the fight. It's always nice when you finish fights early, you get to go and do your thing, fight's done. Right, you get to celebrate with your boys, your girls, whatever. The satisfaction of getting the job done early. So there was a duck left into a 3-8. There was a duck left into a 3. Keep working though, guys. You always want to work in between those combos. Different looks. Stay on your toes. Stay on your feet. Oh, that three is a knockout punch, that three to the body, always. You hit somebody level with that, it's over. Almost there, guys, you're killing it. We're rolling through the rounds, of course. Beautiful round number four is coming up. And this one, guys, is one of my favorite type of rounds. And it's aggressive fighter. So what you do here is you hit the bag coming in and then you change angles. So you're fighting against that guy who just doesn't stop coming forward. 
you know, Mexican style is like that. When I was fighting anyway, the guys, you know, the Mexican guys would always come forward straight at you. So what you're doing now is you're throwing bunches and bunches as soon as that bay comes towards you and then change the angle and keep working, all right? Keep your combos in a large variety. But either way, when that bay comes towards you, give it a push. Throw those combos, thinking about an aggressive fighter never backing down, all right? And then change the angle. Every time that bay comes in, you let your hands go. Still a fight scenario, so you're working the jab still. You know, you're still working the uppercuts. Small shifts in your stance. You know, you're working different areas of the ring. Think about that. Changing levels, of course. And breathing. And again, never showing signs of fatigue. And if you do, make sure you're continuously throwing punches. Because again, if that fighter is always coming towards you, you always want to maintain that distance or at least keep them off of you as much as you can. Again, what's important, you know, when you know you're going up against a guy who's an aggressive fighter, conditioning is massive, accuracy is massive. I mean, it is in every fight, of course, but you know if, you know, your guy's coming forward, you're going to spend a little extra time. It's nice to spend a little extra time, you know, working on that forward and back conditioning because you have to learn to fight backwards, moving backwards, and changing angles when you have an aggressive fighter. So when you're here, you know, work your way in, throw some combos moving out, change direction again when that bay comes towards you make them pay make it pay Again, if you're long and rangy like I am, you want to keep them to the outside. get in you do your work you get out go back to work that's just how you do we're almost there guys we're almost done this round we're flying halfway through already round number five and this one similar to knockout is i want you to pop it and drop it so what i want you to think about doing is throwing though again those lead uppercuts pop the chin you can kind of throw a hook on a little bit of an angle an up angle you can throw an up shoot jab Whatever you want, when you pop that head up and you see that chin exposed, you drop them. So what you're trying to do is pop the head up, so break down the body, right? So open up the head, throw some uppercuts up top, straight punches, whatever you want, pop the chin up, and then drop it, all right? So finish, always thinking about popping the head up and then finishing up there. So long range uppercuts, right? Up shoot jabs. Have fun with this round, guys. Visualize it. Visualize that punch that you're throwing is popping up the chin. Aim for the sternum and straight up. To come underneath the chin. See there, I'm fighting on the inside the pocket a little bit. You know, just mimicking kind of medium range in there. Not completely inside. 
medium range. And again, it's every once in a while you, you can still use your left hook to gauge distance as well as the left hand, the left jab, you know? I mean, obviously that's different for your paw. But you can still use that, especially if you have a hard hook. You don't want people to, you know, people don't want to feel that. People are typically going to block it. Right? So, you know, sometimes when you, when you check in that hook to get them to put that right hand up, oftentimes that's going to give you a little bit of an opening when they're putting that hand up. Right? So you can attack the body from there and then come back to the head. Again, stay on your legs, stay nice and controlled, you're all good. Remember, you're, if you've done all rounds to this point, you're experienced now, you're good. So you're confident, you're feeling good. You can turn your hips over a little bit better, you're a little more accurate. You're a little better at you know, mixing up your combos, giving me different looks, your tempo is a little more, a little more serious, right? Again, pop it and then drop it. Almost done, guys. We're rolling. Nice work. All right, round number six, just like that. Once again, straight punches, cover, block, and then duck out after your combos. Okay, so we've done this round once before. This time, I want you to go a little bit faster with your hands with your straight punches. So show me a little more speed when you're hitting up your straight punches. All right, that's important. Your second round of your straight punches cover, block, and duck it out. I want faster hands and a little more movement. All right, get that duck out after each combo. Let's go. This is all you now. Again, straight punches, pivots, different levels, keep those hands up, give me different looks. Make sure you see your target and then visualize you're ducking under something when you're ducking out to the right or to the left. You're ducking under a hook, you're ducking under, you know, even across something, you know. Don't do it blind. Think about something's coming back at you in your, you know, your role playing. You're making sure that you're always gonna be ready for that so you can visualize what it looks like or what you think it might look like. Are you ducking from the outside? Are you ducking from the inside? So there is more from the inside, right? Keep working guys, I know you're good now, keep working. I'm just here to keep you honest at this point, you guys are flowing through the workout, you're all good, you're having some fun with it. Get on your legs a little bit with this round, try to move around a little bit. What happens is when you get tired, you'll, you know, you'll just, you'll stay in one spot a little bit more. You'll still throw punches, but you just won't really move as much, right? So. Forward is vital, guys. You just gotta get really, you know, just get used to moving and, and changing directions when you're tired. Because if you have to get on your heels and move a little bit, you have to know how to react while you're tired to, to move and punch and concentrate while you're on your heels when someone's chasing you down, like an aggressive fighter, right? All right, guys, nice work. Again, we're crushing it. 
And then one more time, we're going to pop it and drop it again. Again, I love this round too. I want you to think about it again, popping the head up, taking it off. Remember, when you are when you pop the head up, guys, it could be with multiple combinations. It doesn't have to be with just one shot. It could be a jab, then an upshoot jab. It could be a jab uppercut, then you could throw you know, a three or four punch combo after that. Never assume, you know, that that one punch is going to land, followed up with something, always, right? Let's go. Again, keep your hands strong, keep your body in a strong position. Move in, move out, change angles, something like that. Obviously head movement, guys. It's all about head movement. That's, again, vital. Parrying, blocking. It's all there. Another thing too to think about is when you when you feel like you're getting tired and you're losing balance, just drop on your legs quickly. When you feel like you're if you're moving side to side and you you lose balance, drop down. And you'll, what you'll notice is you'll get really good at figuring out when you're going to move off balance, and you'll open up your stance just a little bit, and you'll drop down, and that'll just obviously put you closer to the floor and just stabilize you a bit more. Again, remember, pop it up, take it off. You're thinking, you know, you're breaking down the body to get to the head. That's your whole, the whole premise around this round. Don't forget. You can still do your punches and bunches. It's all good there. Of course, stay strong with your legs. And you know, like I said, it's not the end of the world. With this one too, if you're, you know, you're looking to pop the head up. If you have that lead hand down a little bit and you just work on your little upshoots, I think it's good to get used to that. You know, that's much more of a pro style than amateur style, but you can still, you know, you keep that hand down a little bit, throw some fakes, pop that out there, pop the head up a little bit. You clearly have to be careful not to get caught with a counter hook or straight right hand, obviously. To some you might not be so obvious, but you know, it's okay to play with that a little bit. Especially on the heavy bag when nothing's coming back. Almost there, guys. Almost there. All right, here we go. Round number eight. And this one, once again, we're, we're hooking up your early knockout and then finish with an eight, two, or three. So I'm going to let you guys go all the way through this one on your own. At this point, you've heard me, you heard me talk, you know, talk you guys through this. I want you to handle it on your own. Like I said, you are the boss. You are the champ. You are motivated now. You are good to go. You're gonna push. You're gonna end this 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 fight right now in three minutes or less. Okay? End this fight right now.
All right, guys, we're almost there, you know. Let's just say the fight kept going on. You shook him a few times, right? You shook him a few times, though. It's all good. We have one round left, though. Finish this off. Let's go round number nine. Round number nine is Speed Demon. That kind of speaks for itself, right? It speaks for itself. I want fast hands. Three shots or less here, guys. Three shots or less. So with Speed Demon, I want your hands to go as fast as you can make them move. Three shots or less. Speed Demon, how fast are your hands? How much do you have in the tank? How much can you accelerate your hands? Let's go. Speed Demon, all speed. Three punches or less. No more than three punch combinations. Let's go. Keep your breathing strong. You have to stay on your legs and maximize your speed. Brace from your abs a little bit. And then at the same time, stay relaxed. Don't let me see what's coming. You're just gonna shoot them out there. I can't see it. That's how fast they are. They're too fast for me to see. There's no excessive head movement, so make sure when you throw your punch, you don't look to the side you're throwing from. That's a very common thing. Where you look to a certain direction before you throw, or you lift your chin up before you throw, right? I want you to be really controlled and secure with your body movements. Just the torso, a little bit from the hip. Those are the only parts that are moving if you can help it, right? Body shots, head shots, all good. Too fast, I can't see what's coming up. I have no idea what's coming. All speed. Three punches or less. Whatever style you want, have fun with it. so good at this point you have your opponent figured out that you can throw shots whenever you want how good do you want to look you're still taking a couple shots here and there so you still need some head movement but this is all you now Almost there guys, we're almost done. We are almost here. Alright guys, good work. We'll see you for your final session coming up soon. Check out these videos, make sure you hit that sub button. And uh, we'll see you for the next killer workout. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope these videos are going well for you guys. Remember, share it, spread the word, get your people to try these bad boys out. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you soon.